I'm the worst customer ever in these things because I never buy anything. I just go around tasting stuff. And then when I get home, I realize, wait, I could have bought that hot sauce or that sort of crisp bread or whatever. Here we go, people. Oh. I'm at the right place. <laughs> I hope I am. Yeah, oh, food and wine, good. Oh. So I'm in, you had to scan your tickets there. And it's enormous. Wait, what? Food and wine is over there, and what's over there then? Hmm. What? Seems like something health related. So, uh, yeah, I'm going here. Oh my god. These people are in queue for what? Oh, wine. Oh, yes. You sort of you buy your glass and then you can get coupons and buy as much wine you want. But I'm not going to get smashed. I'm going to look for vegan loveliness. And also, I'm taking this goddamn coat off. Okay, people, let's just start walking. Oh, I've got hours and hours until I need to be at the theatre, so let's do this thoroughly. Hmm, we need a plan. Okay, the plan is to walk like up and down and then do the cross so up and down like that and then do like that hopefully we have time i did this when i was at the garden convention when i was here with git last year we sort of just meandered wouldn't you believe it? it's lunch time so let's not this is mostly for uh, my swedish viewers but um, yeah it's quite an impression erection Look at that, Avenue de Champagne. <sighs> I bet Git wishes she was here. I thought biking would be so cold that I'm actually wearing a tank top underneath this, underneath this fabulous new shirt. Not saying more, if you don't know, you don't know. So this must be the Avenue de Champagne. Look at that. This is a place with food and wraps. I guess cooking books. I guessed right. Oysters. Oh God. If it's one thing I do not need, it's more cookbooks. I need something to nosh on. You know, that plan I had to go up and down and then go across, I sort of forgot about that. So here I am just meandering among the food trucks. Hmm, where are all the free food? Lunch time, so it's a great time to be here. There's shoes everywhere. <laughs> Hopefully, I'll find something a little more, and then I'll buy something. But I need something to just, you know, oh, porridge. Maybe, maybe not. I think we are in the food tasting country. I know this. I love those. They haven't got anything to offer yet. I think it's 10 to 1 and the wine is winning. Sort of, wouldn't be any problems having a glass of wine, but finding something to nosh on. Mmm, it's a chocolate. Might try some chocolate. Now I'm in a chocolate area. So this is licorice from Iceland called Mödlur, Bombur or Jöfler. These are fantastic. I know someone who absolutely loves this. Candied apples. This could be me. 
I need the mic. I like this liqueur. The man doesn't look old enough to drink. But maybe that's my age. Jägermeister. Should I buy some? Yeah, I, maybe I should. And here you have Cointreau. Gin. What's this then? Whiskey? Yeah, whiskey. Oh God damn it. So this is a Swedish brand called Ut Ur, which yeah, I think is an island, and they have Glug and uh, Swedish sort of vodka. Gin and tonic, double dutch, ice, mixes. I just found Bailey's and they used to have a vegan Bailey's but I don't think they've got it anymore. <gasps> Tiramisu, salted caramel, what's, what's right with these people? Chocolate, oh god, this looks good. I'm going to ask them about the vegan one. He wasn't quite sure if they have had a vegan Baileys. But I think I, I think I am sure, I said. And then he said, well, if you're sure. And then we sort of parted ways. I like it when it look like, looks like bars. And, oh, look at that nice wallpaper. I need that. Great flatbread crisps from what's the name of it? Uh, yep. Mm. They were great. Okay, people, so far today, all I've gotten was this little tiny piece of flatbread crisp. <laughs> Someone thought I was filming her. I, um, oh. I won't disappoint her. It's the one to the left. So where there's wine, there's cheese. I can't have cheese. I can't have wine. I'm going to fill up on crisps. It's rather good, actually. Oh, okay. This is going on. Ecological oh, porridge. Swedish. Look at that. That's the jury. They're eating porridge. I'm going to try some olives from Rusen's Delicatesse. Mm. 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 I'm going to try one more, and this is with basil in it. I never had basil olive. Ah. Mm. Mm. Good. So I'm back at the one vegan place I found. I can't eat this and show you at the same time because I need to hold the cup. So I'm going to taste it and then tell you afterwards. Mmm. Mmm. I can fill up on that. God, there's wine, 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 wine. And Ferrari? Ferrari? We need to check this out. I thought that was a car. They make wine as well. So I thought I saw a place where they were serving some juice and stuff. Or you can taste juice. Maybe not here. 
Oh, spritz. Hmm. Wine. I'm keeping wine from the trip. What's this? Just steam. Olive oil. Wine, my friend. Wine, wine, wine. And oh, I'm back at that Seitan place again. It's another place where they say jalapeno. I'm gonna try one of those. Bolivias of Sweden. Okay, people. When I was when before I was a vegan, I was a vegetarian for 25 years, and I absolutely love this cheese, Tête de Moine. I think it's the I don't know. It's a stinky, stinky, stinky cheese, but fantastic. Good. I find another vegan place, Peace of Heaven. These are really great. Mm, I'm, I'm gonna try some of this. They've got a lot of stuff here. Mm. Yeah. So for those of you in Sweden, this is a new. This is a vegan plant-based sort of. Greek style, it's really good. It's really good. It's just taste. I thought it was, I thought it was real feta cheese. Now I need some juice. These are really good. I've had them before, but I'm, I'm gonna have them again. So let's see. I'm gonna try apple and spinach and. I'm going to try one of the red ones. <laughs> mm. Mm. That was really good. Oh, it's, oh, oh, that's good. Okay, so let's... That. Orange juice will pulp. I might as well try one of the green ones as well. Sandwich competition, sweet, the best, I guess, sandwich in Sweden. Oh, and everyone won. Oh. She's in third place. This is a great way to dress. You can't see it, but these are, this, she's sparkling like a disco ball. And you sort of, you just, this is baked without gluten and you just get drawn to it. I'm the worst customer ever in these things because I never buy anything. I just go around tasting stuff and then when I get home I realize, wait, I could have bought that hot sauce or that sort of crisp bread or whatever. And they will love me at work if I bring a gift. Yes, they will. Wait, people, I haven't been here. Southern Comfort, oh damn. I love Southern Comfort. I wish they had some sort of... Oh, they have some. Maybe you can buy those. So there's a new Southern Comfort for me that you have to order, but with more whiskey. And I'm not sure if I like it with more whiskey, but I want one of those. And I asked if they sold them and he said, come back a little later and I will ask the, 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 the proprietor. So hopefully... Oh, crisps. Damn it. Oh, the world's best gin and tonic. Well, some of you might remember Han Gin um, Bar. This is a place where I go by every day at work. And we, uh, Magnus and I did that gin testing. It's really good. I need to buy some of this later on. Mm. I think there are some new flavors to these Swedish crisps. Like tapenade, I've never seen that before. Rosemary, and pesto, truffles. I've seen. It. So sadly, this was not vegan. Truffle one? No. So sadly, the new flavors, none of them are vegan, which is kind of stupid. Okay, people, this sound is really interesting. This is glug made out of, uh, oh God, birch sap. And it's non-alcoholic. 
I need to try it, or maybe I can't. Maybe they're not offering. No, they don't. Damn it. Sounds interesting though. You know, I found another one. Another vegan place. They're having sort of spreads. This is really good. Mm. It's half past one in the afternoon and I've sort of done everything, I think. So maybe I should just go up to the food court, buy something. Uh, I've texted my friend Eamon who works here and he has not re yet replied, but texted rather late, I forgot. I thought I'd just bump into him. But I think I need to spend some money on something. And I definitely will remember to go buy those um, mugs. Oh, great coffee. Damn. So I can maybe buy something at Taste of Brazil, but I don't think so. I will buy that. It looks like no. And then we have this hot chili truck with vegan chili. Maybe. Let's keep looking. So they got tacos, but they also got a queue. Oh. This is European street food. Let's see if they've got anything. No. No, it doesn't look that way. Let's see. Yoppers food. This just says Yoppers food, which means Yoppers, well, food. I just translated English into English. I'm oh, sorry. I thought books and wraps look, looked interesting. And then I saw, oh, it's, it's salmon and uh, seafood only, I guess. I'm not quite I'm not quite sold on any of this so I got an answer from Emil and he said he, he would be coming by no let's see everything is slightly more expensive than I thought so than I am prepared to pay so I might I might eat somewhere else. Here's a place, sort of, where it's not food truck. I think they're sort of here permanently. Damn. Is there another floor? No, oh, it's just the seating. Oh, good. Oh, God. I got myself scared there. Hmm. I think my friend Christian has got that shirt, and if he haven't, he should. Okay, people, this is interesting. Remember the free bread we get from the bakery? But this is the bakery. Haga Tort Company of Bagheri. I'm gonna eat that bread. Yes, I got bread at work. And here's the bake and chocolate stage. Oh, and a... This is the first, first interpreter I've seen, but maybe there's always been one. Right now I'm just hanging around waiting for my friend Emil to contact me. So just after I stopped recording, this guy <laughs> showed up. Hello Emil, Hello. thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much, you're a lovely Welcome. person. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> so I'm off to see the wizard, the one, well, I'm just singing now. So goodbye for now, I had a fantastic time. Thank you for watching and for liking, commenting, subscribing and following. It really helps and uh, something to do with the internet and the algorithm, I think. So thank you so much.